so this is the new project and well it is a, a very very odd one it's probably one of the weirdest projects i've ever been a part of and to be honest with you i still can't believe that it's really happening like just to give you some context i've gone on about tiny houses for i don't know four years on instagram and i can remember being in meetings at work where people would be talking about a load of stuff that I didn't care about. I can remember drawing plans on the back of a piece of paper of exactly what I'm gonna be building here. Now, before I get into what exactly I'm gonna be building, the first thing that I needed to do was clear the site. If you're like a plant nerd, just chill out. It's okay, I'm, I'm transplanting the hedges because I don't know if you can see on camera, but the land is, well, not only is the site really odd, just like the shape of it alone, I think it's basically the leftover parcels of land from when the like, I don't know, England's a bit weird. At one time, like a house in the area would have owned probably like 200 acres. And then when fields get sold off, and then houses get sold off from that, parts of land you end up with some very odd shaped pieces of land and this is basically the leftover of that so at, I think at the narrowest point it's like five or six meters and then at the widest point it's like eight meters or something so it's a very very odd shape of land this. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, is not only I'm moving all the hedges, but I'm also redoing all the gradient. So it's currently falling down a hill of like 30 degrees and then across the width at the narrow point of the land, it falls at like 40 degrees. That wouldn't be too fun building on that. So I had this mini digger hired for another project and I had like half a day left. So I thought, well, I'll just use it here whilst I've still got it. I've never really used diggers before because I don't know if you remember on the London project, but um, I'm, I'm pretty cheap, so I just like hand dig everything. And after using this, I don't know what is wrong with me. It's definitely worth the money. I think to hire this for like, I think I had it for four days. It was like 500 quid or something. And they're just sick. If I'm ever bored in the future, I think I might just hire diggers and just go around and do groundwork at people's houses. And it's so easy to use. Don't really, don't really know why I've never done it before. I also do feel a bit bad about the London project because I started that off by being like, I'm gonna teach people absolutely everything to do with building. And then having a day job, running my business, and then doing this stuff on top of it, just equals not really too possible. But with this project, I'm not, I'm not just saying this, I'm actually gonna do it differently. I'm gonna try and film all of it. I want you to realize that everything is so simple. Like the London project, that was like, a double loft conversion because there was the main loft and the pod extension then there's the probably one of the biggest ground floor extensions i've ever done on that as well and we did it all in seven months whilst having day jobs and and other things going on as well so yeah it is possible i'm a moron and if i can manage to do this sort of stuff you definitely can as well the majority of the time i spend on instagram is just responding to people who have got like their friends family basically being negative about them doing any form of like renovation work on their own house it's all simple it's like that that saying it's they muddy the water to make it seem deep sort of things the same thing that happens in finance it's all very very simple same with property diy the lot everything it's just 
and business it's just all simple if you just got work ethic and discipline but yeah that is basically what i want for this project is one to show you what's really possible and then showing how simple most things are and because i've got more time now i reckon i'll be able to film so much more so please be active in the comments let me know if you want me to go into more detail like when i'm doing a bathroom or putting a kitchen do you want me to literally film like how the hell i do everything like do you want me to show the full design process how i even come up with the ideas for floor plans and everything it's all up to you really so yeah let me know in the comments if there's anything that you're like oh you have to film that for me because i'm clueless on that and i'll do it